starting from January, vitamins are effective in treating ADHD. So first of all, ADHD is Attention Deft Hip Hyperactivity Disorder, which means that the people who have it lack attention and find it really, really hard to focus on a single task. This happens to one out of 20 adults. And currently, it, it is not curable, however, there's a lot of medicines that uh, stimulate the nervous system, so it gets the symptoms a lot better. However, the recent material on the subject revealed that vitamins and minerals can also help the distracted patients. In, they did a test in 80 people from that has the, the condition and the testing went really really well so people can have an alternative treatment. treatment. So let's change your month and disease. We're talking now about autism. There was a major research that has been going on for decades now and it resumes that men have much more chances of having neurodevelopment disorders like autism than women. And then the scientists explain that biological scales between genders are not balanced. Geneticists from the US and Switzerland have clarified that there is something called female protective model that, that helps the girls to have higher tolerance against genetic mutations and need more of them to acquire such a disease. However, once the autism is diagnosed in women, they'll probably confront a more severe disorder. And scientists also believe that the discovery can be applied to other intellectual disorders, such as schizophrenia. Okay, so the boy you see in the screen is no ordinary boy at all. His name is Shiva Nathan, he lives in America, but he is from India. And in 2012, when one of the people from his family lost the two forearms, he invented this genius arm that can read your mind and that changes the life of many people who have some part of them amputated. Back then when he wasn't even 15 he didn't have access to a robotic lab so what he used was his Mindwave mobile game from NeuroSky that can read your mind to play the game and he hacked the Bluetooth thing and he was able to construct this arm all by himself. Now that he has enough support of universities and congressmen, he's thinking of implanting an eye tracking stair thing so that a person can move their finger by stair. His device can detect your mental states and the brain activity. Okay, so I bet whatever you want that somebody already told you that laughter is the best medicine. Well, they're not totally false. It is indeed if you want to preserve your memory when you're already old. The researchers found out that cortisol, which is a chemical in our brain, is highly linked to our memory. And this cortisol is also the stress hormone, but it's fed by our stress. So if we laugh and take life easy, then our laughter will help us combat this cortisol guy. And then we will have much more chances of having a better memory. Just to finish, it also they also discovered that it has to do with blood pressure and the flow in your body, which is also helped by the laughter. Brain injury releases math powers. You see, both men, they are the same person. The jock, John Jason Padgett, was mugged and he suffered from concussion and was knocked out. When he woke up in the hospital, he was like this other man. He was super good at math and he was also suffering from compulsive obsessive disorder. What happened was something about his savant and lack of transcriptional stimulation. This thing can help you gain something, some skill, or decrease some skill. In his case, both. His case is still being analyzed by scientists because it's really rare. Well, scientists from the University of Illinois use something called electrocephalography to associate fitness to brain activity. 
They placed an electro cap on children's heads to summarize some electro impulses. The experiment focuses in the activity of the brain's component called N400 that is activated by the sense you make of things, by your understanding of something that is really simple. 